Oh boy, it is hot and windy and we're standing on the side of the Trans-Canada Highway. We're working our way to Medicine Hat. We are attending the Vintage Trailer Rally taking place this weekend. It's Thursday around noontime or so and we are in Bassano, Alberta. So as one would expect when going to a Vintage Trailer Rally, of course, we have Bella the Bowler with us. One thing you won't see this weekend is there's no Mabel sticking her head out of the back of the truck. We figured there's going to be a lot of activities this weekend. And with so many activities going on and predicted hot weather, at least for today and tomorrow, it wasn't going to be really good to leave Mabel in the trailer by herself. So we hired a dog sitter. She's going to stay home this weekend. So it's a very rare and unusual dog-free camping weekend for us. This is a pretty common pit stop for us when we're traveling the Trans-Canada between home and Medicine Hat. Good facilities, lots of room here, not that we need a ton of room. It's not like we're pulling a giant uh, fifth wheel or something, but it's nice to have the, the room and the space here to spread out and there's a new co-op commercial card lock being built down on the north end of the parking lot here. So that will be a new addition on future stops here. There, can you see how hot I am? sweating up a storm but the setup's done so let's take a quick look around our site here at gas city campground in medicine hat so our site's kind of down inside this little hollow or i guess it's not so much that we're down inside the hollow as there's a berm that surrounds us on two sides we have no neighbors on our door side just the overflow parking lot and then here's the view of the back of our site Lots of grasshoppers flying. Some sort of industrial plant. But we have a nice view of the Trans-Canada Highway coming into the city. We can see the train when it runs through the town or through the city as well. It's a nice coolie view. And there's some shade trees back here, so this might make a nice spot to relax in the evening if we actually get a time to relax. But there is home sweet home for the next three nights. So fresh off some ukulele lessons, now I'm just trying to sit in the shade Enjoy what little breeze there is and watch Emily do some work. Putting up party lights. Yeah, hanging up the vintage camper lights. Gonna try and string them off the awning here, so this should be kind of fun. morning and welcome to the first full day of the vintage trailer rally our day is starting off similar to yesterday in the sense of it is sunny but very different compared to yesterday in the sense of it's quite windy and it's only about 20 degrees celsius right now so 
it's actually a really nice temperature. It feels cool after, uh, after what was a pretty long night in the trailer with no air conditioning in vintage trailers and no breeze last night. It was, uh, it was like 30 degrees Celsius in the trailer when we went to bed. So didn't sleep the greatest I've ever slept in the trailer, but man, it feels nice and cool now. I can handle this. And as per tradition, coffee pot's going. I've only got two of these disposable green containers left to get rid of. And uh, it'll soon be time for some bacon and eggs and kick off our day in Medicine Hat. So we kicked off our morning participating in a cornhole tournament. Neither Emily nor I had ever played cornhole before, and it showed. Single elimination tournament, we got knocked out in the first round pretty handily, <laughs> but it was still fun. And of course, no visit to Medicine Hat, at least in the summer, would be complete without a visit to Swirls Ice Cream. So there's mine. A large O. Henry Arctic swirl. I have Reese's Pieces. Hmm, right on. Getting attacked by wasps. <laughs> not actually attacked. Surrounded. Two of them counts as an attack. Mm. There's been a lot of wasps around here this weekend so far. And at the, at the campground and here. Mm. <laughs> We're just doing some preparation work here as the wind has significantly come up and is blowing things around like crazy. So we're just kind of packing up anything that might blow away and get the campsite ready, including the spinning daisies. <laughs> Because holy crap, the wind just came up something fierce and everything started blowing around. I don't know how much you'll see on the time lapse, but so much for our plans of eating outside. <laughs> Quite a storm. No rain yet, really, but the wind just kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know if you can really see through the window there, but... Wow, just out of nowhere, it's like, well, I shouldn't say out of nowhere because we could see a storm coming over the horizon, but we thought it was just going to be rain. This wind is completely unexpected. Like, wow. <laughs> so with the wind and a little bit of rain taking place outside, we've changed plans and instead of grilling our burgers, we're just going to cook them inside here, so gotta be flexible do what you can when the weather changes time for the parade of classic cars well that didn't take long for me to find my favorite <laughs> That's cool. okay <laughs> Okay, we're heading over to the 70s dance party. This section's probably going to have like a whole bunch of copyrighted uh, music, so I'll either have no sound or uh, I'll just not have a lot of video posted. 
Uh, it's kind of cold, kind of windy, but that's all right. Should be fun. Of course, check this out. <laughs> Dan has a date with Farrah Fawcett. Somebody put in a lot more effort than I did. There's a trophy for best dressed. I'm gunning for it. Yeah, okay. I don't know who this is. <laughs> the size of my waist. I know, I know. Cheer on the hula hoopers! Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> I feel it. Uh, uh, Sandy's daughter, and it's just beautiful. It says it, it's got peace on it, and and, and love, and groovy. Okay, can you point it out uh, to Sandy, or just uh, here it comes? Uh, okay, uh, they're coming out there with the best dressed costume. so tough and difficult. The judges, yeah, yeah, we're giving it to you. Yeah. You are our champion. Can everyone get your lighters up? I don't know if you'll hear me over the wind, but that was a lot of fun. We're back at camp now, just firing up the fire pit and going to relax a little bit and get off our feet.
again, thank you to all of you. A big round of applause to all of you guys. Hey. I'm missing something. Let me in the door. Let lost at all. In the dark he goes. Jumps for joy. Well, he is a miracle boy. In the dark he goes. Jumps for joy. Well, he is a miracle boy. Oh, that's what I saw a couple of those. It's the giant teeth. Yeah, I saw a couple of trailers that had them up front. Yeah. It was fun to do. Mm -hmm. Not it's good. Sunday morning and the pack up has started as everyone is getting ready to disperse and head back their own way. And like we've got our coffee going, gathering up the accoutrements from the uh, site and getting ready to put things away. And the Tools of destruction are out, ready for hooking up the trailer. See some trailers on the move, and if you look through there, the big tent where all the activities took place is being dismantled. It's uh, time to head for home soon. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap. The entire uh, trailer's been hooked up. We're ready to roll, just getting ready to pull out. Any thoughts you'd like to throw our way? It was a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of sad to see everybody dispersing and going their separate ways. I told Dan it reminds me of summer camp. Like you make friends while you're here and it's the special moment and then it's all gone. But see you next summer. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.